Hello everybody. In this movie we take you with us on a scale bridging journey into the nano cosmos of a turbine blade which has to withstand high mechanical loads at extremely high temperatures. As we approach, the first microstructural features we see are little bright crosses. These are debritic regions which have originally formed during solidification. We zoom in further and start recognizing little cuboidal particles. These are gamma prime particles which consist of the ordered L12 phase. They fill about 80% of the volume of our material. The gamma prime particles are separated by thin gamma channels. This second phase in our microstructure is the gamma phase, a cubic phase-centered solid solution. Using transmission electron microscopy, we can obtain information on local alloy chemistry. Here we show so-called element distribution maps, which are generated in a scanning type of procedure. It is now interesting to see that the chemical composition of a nickel-based superalloy is not homogeneous. Instead, there are elements like aluminium, nickel, tantalum and titanium, which prefer to be located in the gamma prime phase. And there are others like cobalt, chromium, rhenium and tungsten which partition to the gamma channels. Rhenium and tungsten are especially important alloy elements for high temperature strengths. magnify even further and eventually start to see columns of atoms of our crystal. We can identify the interfacial region between the gamma and the gamma prime phase and we can in principle measure the distance between atoms and the angles which define the crystal lattice. All properties of our turbine blades finally depend on bonds between atoms. We therefore perform atomistic calculations, which allow us to predict properties on the macro scale. This animation was produced by material scientists from the Ruhr University Bochum, Germany, with help from external media experts. This movie represents an outreach activity of the collaborative research center SFB Transregio 103, funded by DFG. Please visit our webpage for detailed information on our research on single crystal superalloys.